Lillian, from where you stand, is it all bad? All the stories we hear, uh, most of the stories we hear, and I'm sure you've seen them on TV, of the maids who are brutally killed or they're mistreated. Is it all bad when I leave Uganda and I'm going to, the, especially the Arab countries, for work? Um, thank you, Josephine, for raising that critical question. The fact is, not everyone who moves as a maid to go and work in the Middle East is subjected to abuse and exploitation. Majority of the women and young girls who have moved to work as housemaids and went through the government structures, which is regulated, they are known where they are, and if they face any form of um, threat to their working conditions, government collaborates with the um, recruitment agency to ensure that the situation is addressed. So majority of the videos that you see, if you may not, they never state that it is company X that took me. They normally speak about a lady, a lady's name, a man's name, who cannot be located. So most of those have been victims of trafficking and illegal movement. The unfortunate thing is that when they are subjected to those schemes, they believe the person taking them. So because they believe so much in that person taking them, sometimes there are instances of them fearing to disclose who exactly that person is, because in some instances they may be a relative, they may be a friend of their parents, or a friend of their friend. So the cycle moves in that form. That is why it is critical that when we look at addressing unemployment, we enable women and young girls and other workers work in an, what we are calling safe migration. What are the right channels? So what is safe migration? Safe migration in our context is one. The first thing is you need to travel abroad through a licensed recruitment agency. And you can verify that information from the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development. The RRDC's offices have a list of uh, recruitment agencies. And we also have the Uganda Association of External Recruitment Agencies. While we have our offices, they are not accessible originally, but they are at the BMK building in Kampala. And you can also go and verify information from that place. Okay. The people who leave Uganda to go abroad and work, are they registered? Do we have um, information regarding them as they go so that they can keep tabs on them and be sure that our people are safe? Um, Martin's office actually does a lot of work which the public doesn't know in terms of regulation. They regulate us, the recruitment agencies. So any person who moves through what we call the proper channels one has a recommendation from their chairman, LC1. And that letter passes through all the procedures through the, through the DISO's office, the resident district commissioner's office, through the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development, through internal security, and then back. So by the time that person departs, uh, the Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development knows that that person is departing, and they only pass through Entebbe Airport. Okay. So Entebbe Airport also has a list of those people whom we are to take at any given time. So no one lives without um, those government procedures. So you find that those who do not follow the procedures are those who just move through the informal systems, which government is... Uh, we have quite a number of borders. Yes. Okay. Yeah.